Hello and welcome. Right, yet another EcoFlow power station. I know, I know, but they keep coming out with these amazing machines and I keep having to tell you about them. So, I think it was actually last year, towards the end of last year, that this first one came out. This is the River 2, little baby of the family. 300 watt output. Now, I'm just going to tell you what they are first. Okay, so that came out first. And then it was the River 2 Pro. Big brother, big brother. That one has an output of 800 watts. And then, we moved on to this one, the Delta 2, which is 1,000, oh, I've just got my notes down here, 1,800 watts. Do you really need any more than that? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you can get them, get them. So, they have now brought out the Delta 2 Max. And here it is. It's a beast. It's a beast. So, we're going to go into this. This is what we're looking at today. It's been out for a couple of months now, uh, but we've been using it for a couple of months, and now we want to tell you about it. But first, let's go back. So, started with the River 2. 300 watt, uh, 300 watt output. So... People keep asking me, which is the one for me? Which should I get? It all depends on your needs. This is perfect for charging your laptop, your cameras, your phones, carrying it around. You can carry this for miles. You can put it in a backpack. You can go camping with it. You can do anything with it. Very small, very compact, excellent. All the functions are on the front, um, so you don't have to move it around, but yeah, love that one. Then the River 2, which is the one we use most of the time because Mazda can still carry this one. Um, 800 watt. Um, so it will do all what I said on the last one and more. And it will obviously last a lot longer. But yeah, again, all the uh, functions are on the front. So you can just lay it down. What we tend to do is put this in between our chairs, underneath the table, in the middle of us both, uh, so we can both have access to it from both chairs. But yeah, brilliant. That's our number one go-to. But then you need more. You need more. If you want to start doing things like um, a kettle, for example, you need to go up a bit. And here we are. So this one is the Delta Two, 1,800 watts. Uh, kettles hair dryers, hair straighteners, things like that, and all the things I've mentioned previously. That'll last for a long, long time. And now we're talking about the X-Boost coming in, and it's it's making the uh, surge on these even bigger. So if your kettle or has got a big surge on it, you'll, you should still be all right with this. So we tend to put this next to our fridge. Um, we have a fridge on solar power, but if it's a bit cloudy, we sometimes plug it into this. But sometimes you need something what you can just leave there, doing its job all the time. Something which will run anything. And that is where we come into the Delta 2 Max. Max! Let me run through it, let me show you around it, let me tell you what it can do. So let's take a look around this. So, with the bigger ones from EcoFlow, they always tend to put your USBs on one side with your display and the plugs on the other side, plug sockets on the other side. So let's start with the USBs on this side. So you've got your on button here. Oh, it needs charging, it's on zero. You see, we've been using it. Um, right, so USB A's, you've got two ordinary USB A's there with a 12 watt output. You have got two fast charging USB A's, which are 18 watt output. And then you've got, now this is what excites me, two USB C's, 100 watts. And this is what people are using nowadays. We're all using USB C's, C to C usually. So... Um, me and Mazzy, for example, we usually stick to, if I can uh, pull it up here, 
We usually use the River 2 Pro, and as you can see, it's only got one USB C on there, so we're always fighting for it because it is so much faster for charging us phones. But here, we've got one each. That is fantastic. Turning this around, we come on to the plug side of things. So you have got four AC plugs there. 2,400 watts output. That is incredible for a start, but it has a 4,800 watt surge. That's incredible. So you can pretty much, um, I can't think of an appliance you could plug into this which wouldn't work. This thing is magic. So you've got them four there. You've also got your um, 12 volt car port there, cigarette lighter, charger. You've got two 12 volt DC ports which I don't think we really use much in England. Someone said drones go into them, but I'm not sure. Don't know about them. Up here, you've got a reset button. This is where you charge the actual machine into your AC in your motorhome, camper van or home. And you have got two solar panel connectors. So gone are the days where you could only plug one solar panel in and it would usually only be able to be 100 watts or 200 watts of solar power coming into it. This thing, you can do two solar panels up to a thousand watts coming in. So you can have two 500 watt solar panels outside and have them plugged into this. How good is that? So if you did have a thousand watts coming into this, you could charge it in 2.3 hours in full sun, which we have got today. As I said earlier, uh, we do use solar panel itself. This is, I think it's 200 watts, EcoFlow solar panel. Um, facing this way, the sun comes up there, goes down over there, and this keeps our fridge running all the time. It is absolutely fantastic. We never have to plug our refrigerator into the mains. So let's get back onto the EcoFlow Max. Let's just run over a few of the even more detailed specs on this thing. Now it has a lifespan of 3000 cycles, which I believe the others do as well. Um, is it Life Pro 4 or something it's called? Can't remember uh, the type of battery in this. Uh, so 3,000 cycles, which means it will go up to at 80%, it won't go down to 80% capacity for 3,000 cycles, which will be a minimum, a min and I'm saying minimum, minimum of 10 years. If you use this every single day for 10 years, it would still be 80% at least. So six times better than any or most competitors, not any, most but that's incredible. This thing, if you're buying one of these, this is going to last you for the lifetime of what you need it for. I can guarantee that. No, I can't guarantee that. EcoFlow will guarantee that. No, they won't. They'll guarantee it for, I think it's five years. Is this power station safe? Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Fire resistant casing. <coughs> Rubber anti-slip base. and a built-in battery management system so you're not going to get safer you know even if something goes wrong inside this it should not be setting anything on fire it's as safe as you can get for a power station safety's got to come first hasn't it what it can do price weight and safety i'd say they're the four things uh, you need to look at if you're planning on buying one of these there's a lot of companies out there who we haven't heard of now making power stations but are they safe i know these have been tested by a lot of youtubers and when i say tested i mean ripped to bits literally taken to bits had a look inside and the people who know what they're talking about the professionals have turned around and said yeah that's as good as you're gonna get now unfortunately with a big power station with a big wattage power station does come a lot of weight now as far as one which is 2400 watts which this one is 
As far as they go, this is still one of the lightest on the market, 23 kilograms. Now, my girlfriend couldn't carry this around. It is heavy, um, but some of them are way heavier, trust me. The last one I reviewed, I think that was 33 kilograms, something like this. This one is 23 kilograms. So you're not going to get a better weight for what you're getting. So what can you run off this? How many charges can you get on all the products you want to charge from this? So let's take a refrigerator, right? A refrigerator. In your house, a refrigerator. You can charge it for 14 hours. That is pretty good for a proper full-size refrigerator. Let's take a portable fridge freezer like we've got down here. You can do that for 29 hours over a day. So if you're going away for a weekend, a really good thing to uh, charge one of them up. Hair dryer, one hour. Um, which isn't long enough just for one hair drying session for my girlfriend. She can be stood in front of an hair dryer for four hours. But for most people, that would dry your hair about 20 times. Phones. This is the big one. This is how I can tell how powerful these are, how, many, how big the battery is. How many times do you reckon you can charge your phone up on this? Go on. Say you've got a Samsung Ultra S23, right? It's on zero. How many times can you get it up to 100? 5, 10, 20? 143 times. That is incredible. I remember the days when I was first reviewing these and it would be... Uh, something something like this and you could literally only charge your phone maybe three times four times but now they've come on such a long way 143 times on top of that your laptop 26 times 26 times to charge your laptop uh, your drone 39 times your camera thir uh, 99 times your TV 15 hours 15 hours of watch time on TV Microwave, 1.3 hours. Washing machine, 3.3 hours. Right, I've, I've, I've said enough of them. I've said enough of them, but basically it's fantastic. So, if charging your phone 143 times isn't enough for you, if you need more power, you can actually buy uh, spare batteries to go in this. It's, it's basically a similar sized product. Ugh. Just turn it round here. Here are the plates. Where are they? Where are they? I can't see them. This is where you stick them. So a wire will go from these, uh, which I believe you get one. I'm not sure if you get one wire with the actual product. I'm not sure. So you can plug that into an extra battery, which you have to obviously have to buy separately. Uh, if you get two of them in there, so you've got like three of these all built in together, you've got 6,000 watts or kilowatts per hour. Um, so what's that Mazzy? three times so that's t uh, 450 charges of your phone <laughs> so if you really want to charge your phone 450 times get this and two extra batteries it's good for if you are going away for a weekend and you want these in the home but you want to keep something going at home without using your electric from your mains uh, you can be safe knowing if you've got all these plugged in, uh, it will keep, you know, whatever going, your fridge or whatever going. Right, what else have we got to talk about? Oh, how long does it take to charge? Right, to get it up to 80% charge, 53 minutes. 53 minutes! First reviews I were doing, and these weren't eco flows by the way, oh, we were talking 8 hours. 8 hours for a 500 watt. That's 300 watt. For a 500 watt, this is 2,400 watts. You can do it in 53 minutes. Um, that's so that's to plug it uh, by AC through a plug socket. Uh, 81 minutes to get it to 100%. Incredible, incredible. No waiting overnight now. We often run out of power in here. Stupidly, we let things get down to zero. As I said, uh, this is on zero at the moment. One of these. So we now need to put it on charge, but it will be done within 50 minutes, an hour. So that's what I, that's the big plus for me, uh, the amount of time it takes to charge them. So this has got an app, which I strongly recommend everybody to download the app for all EcoFlow products. And I'll tell you why. Not only can you control this through the app, 
uh, turn on the AC, turn on the DC, uh, check the battery, turn things on from in bed, do whatever you like. It's brilliant for that. But also, if there's ever an update, if they ever update the, is it the hardware or the software? I'm not sure. We had a slight problem with our fridge freezer from EcoFlow and they actually did an update and on the app, I just had to go into the app, it said update, clicked on it and it solved the problem. So if they do ever update this, uh, you can get them extra features and things completely free. So always use the app. I've said it gets a five year warranty. How loud is it? Now your average competitors for a 2400 watts is 55 decibels. This one is 30 decibels, nearly half as loud, okay? 55, 45% quieter than most competitors. And we don't hear it, we never notice it. The only time we hear it is when we're charging it up and even then it really doesn't bother us. Um, Mazzy has actually been filming with one of these charging in the background this morning. It really doesn't affect you at all. So getting back to the original question, which EcoFlow is for me? That's entirely up to you. I can't make that decision up for you. I will leave links to all of these in the description. If you just want to go away camping or something, go for this. You get what you pay for. If you want some, if you want the beast to do everything, that is as good as you're gonna get. For the size, for the weight, for what it can do, everything about it you won't get anything better on the market than this so that is the delta to max what do i think of it well i knew i knew everyone knows when you when you get one of these you know it's going to be incredible so i can't say anything more than that can i if you want one it's in the description if i can get one i will put a link in the description for a discount code save you a bit of money on this one yeah thanks for watching see you all later love you lots bye bye